We have a couple of Monday night games in the NFL, so which ones should we bet? This video will give you my opinion on both matchups. I'm Professor MJ, a former 15 year university statistics teacher turned into a full time sports better. Starting at 7.30 pm, we have the Titans squaring off against the Dolphins. Both squads are desperate for a win after posting an 0-3 and a 1-2 record, respectively. Which one will prevail? Earlier in the week, I was leaning towards the Titans, but let's see if my opinion has changed. My reasoning was that Tennessee has shown good things on the defensive side of the ball by allowing the fifth fewest total yards in the NFL. Also, I had noticed how Will Levis was coming off a better performance in his last game. Against Green Bay, he picked up 260 passing yards, a 76.5% completion rate, and a 7.6 yards per attempt average. Those numbers were all season highs for him. To me, Will Levis can do a mix of great and bad things. He is certainly capable of moving the ball, but he is also susceptible to bonehead plays. Through the first three weeks of the season, he led the league with eight turnovers. One thing is not helping him at all, though. He is constantly under pressure due to poor offensive line play. That is unlikely to change, unfortunately. Now, what about the Dolphins? One of the main reasons I was leaning towards the Titans was the fact that Tim Boyle was in line to get the start. With 4 TD passes and 12 interceptions in his career, and not being around the team for a long time, I figured things were looking bleak for the Dolphins. However, head coach Mike McDaniel decided to go with Tyler Huntley. That sounds like the right decision. Huntley has running ability, and he also has more playing experience. He gives them a better chance of winning this contest. In four seasons with the Ravens, Huntley has accumulated a total of 11 touchdowns, including rushing TDs, versus 7 picks. His yards per attempt average is not very high, so he is not a world beater. But with great weapons around him like Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell, and Devon A. Chan, I think Miami's offense will be fine. After losing cornerback Chidobe Awuzi to an injury, the Titans are likely to miss a huge part of their defense, Jeffrey Simmons. According to the final injury report, he is doubtful to play. Tennessee also added safety Amani Hooker and cornerback Legereus Sneed to the injury list. If just one of them misses the game, that could be a huge boost for Hill and Waddle. So, all in all, I have changed my mind and I believe the best value goes to the Miami Dolphins, who are currently listed as 2.5 point favorites. Some of you may consider me as being too conservative. But for extra caution, I have personally decided to go with the Mi I have personally decided to go with Miami with the money line. I just don't want to lose my bet if they win by a one or two point margin. Right now, as you can see on your screen, the best money line I was able to get was minus 135 in American format, or 1.74 in decimal. After a quick break, which will show you my two golden retrievers, named Cooper and Fiji, let me discuss the Seattle vs Detroit matchup. See you in 10 seconds. The Seahawks, led by new head coach Mike McDonald, are off to a great start to their 2024 campaign. Indeed, the only perfect 3-0 record. That being said, were you impressed by their wins? Not me. First, they won at home 26-20 against the Broncos. Then, they could have easily lost their second game in New England. But they escaped with an overtime victory in Foxborough. Finally, last week, they beat the Dolphins with Skylar Thompson and Tim Boyle on their center. 
Granted, Seattle did what they had to do in that game, so hats off to them. But they have yet to face a solid club. That's exactly what's about to occur tonight. The Lions have a very well-balanced attack. We all know about their passing offense with Jared Goff, Amon Ross St. Brown, Sam Laporta, and Jameson Williams, who has really emerged as a solid wide receiver this year. But Detroit's running game is equally good. Through the first three weeks of the season, a total of 13 running backs in the NFL had rushed for over 200 yards. The Lions had two of them, Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. Both are great and elusive. To top it all off, the Lions may have the top offensive line in football. That gives Goff time to scan the field and it creates nice holes for the backs when running the ball. I'm sorry, but the Seahawks have not faced an offense whose talent level was anywhere close to what they're about to face tonight. The Broncos, the Patriots and the Dolphins without Tua are nowhere near the Detroit offense. By picking the Lions, we also have the revenge factor on our side. Last year, the Seahawks left Detroit after obtaining a great 37-31 overtime win in Week 2. In that game, the Lions turned the ball over three times, which literally cost them the game. I'm sure they will be primed to get some payback tonight. Detroit's defense has also done a fine job so far this year. They have given up 20, 20 and 13 points respectively. So what's my final betting pick in this game? Earlier this week, I went with Detroit minus 2.5 points for the first half. The corresponding odds were minus 110, but they have dropped to around minus 125 or minus 120 across several bookies. That's still good enough to me, although I obviously prefer the minus 110 line that I got several days ago. Let's summarize my final betting picks for the Monday night games in week 4. First, I am taking the Miami Dolphins to win straight up against the Titans. In other words, I am taking the full game money line. In the second contest of the night, I have decided to go with the Detroit Lions first half point spread of minus 2.5. I think they will get off to a fast start and the Seahawks will need to adjust after facing much weaker quarterbacks like Bo Nix, Jacoby Brissett, Skylar Thompson and Tim Boyle. As often mentioned on this channel, the best NFL value wagers come from proposition bets. The most common ones that I bet concern the performance of specific players. For example, will Tyreek Hill catch over or under 4.5 passes? I am analyzing each game in great details, along with making use of my mathematical model in order to come up with my final bets. If you wish to receive my top 3 prop bets for the Monday night games in your mailbox, simply sign up for this gold package by following the link below in the comments section. If the 3 betting tips generate a losing record, you get your money back. As simple as that. I'm Professor MJ, let's beat the bookies together on Monday night!